picture this. You're hanging out with your buddies for a passing and then all of a sudden there's a hole in the wall. Your parents are coming home soon and you need to fix that wall. I know this has happened to you before. This has happened in my house on more than one occasion. I'm going to tell you what you will need to patch a hole with and explain the process of doing it. So now let's get started. But before doing so, you will need to know what materials you will need. You will need sandpaper, box cutter, putty knife, and a drywall patch kit. These can be purchased at Walmart and hardware stores for $8. In the paint department, it includes all tools necessary, a tub of mud, adhesive patch, a putty knife, and sandpaper. Now that we have all the materials together, it's time to patch the hole. First, the hole must be cut and cleaned. By using the box cutter, cut the hole into a rectangular shape. It, it will be much easier to patch when it is evenly cut. But make sure the cut is clean by brushing off the dust. It will the adhesive patch will stick better to it. Now that the hole is cut and cleaned properly, we can get down to business. Next, the, the patch must be cut in place. The kit should come with one of these. One side has adhesive on it. The patch must be cut to the right shape. Use the scissors to cut the drywall patch. Cut it to the size that you need. The patch should now be placed over the hole. Now that the patch has been successfully cut and placed, we can finish. Next, the mud must be applied. Use the putty knife, spread the mud over the patch, It is important to make it smooth so it blends nicely in the wall into the wall and isn't noticeable. It will often take more than one coat of mud to make it solid, but it is important to let each coat dry before the next is placed over. With this mud, it turns white when it is dry, like this one. Use sandpaper to lightly sand down any of the edges uneven areas of the mud. Use the putty knife to chip away large blobs in the mud. Lastly, paint over the patched area if you want. And that is how you fix a hole in drywall. Now let's go over what we have done. It starts with cleaning the, the hole, then the patch must be cut and placed. After that, the mud must be applied and smooth. Finally, it must be sanded and painted. I hope that you will put this new skill to use the next time you have a hole in the wall. If you ever find yourself in a hole in the wall type of predicament, you now know how to fix it. If you forget, I guess you can get a hold of me and I'll be happy to walk you through it again.